Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perek Rivi'i, Daf Chaf Chet Aleph, Chapter 4, Page 28a. Deal me ma brin lach, perhaps they will also remove you. Amala, he said to her, Lisha Meshina, Shioma Chada Bechasa, Demokra, let a person use a precious glass cup one day. Uh, that's a reference to him being the glass cup. Ole Machar Litvar, and the next day let it break. And the next day he, uh, the next day he won't be in the position. Amrale, she said to him, Leitlach Chivrata, but you have no white hairs. So he looked, he looked too young to fulfil such a position. And he didn't have white hairs in his beard. Hahu Yoma Bar Tamne Sereish Ne Hava, and that day Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria, who was eighteen years old, it Rachishle Nisa, a miracle occurred. Ve Ahadru Le Tamne Sere Dare Chivrata, and eighteen rows of hair um, turned white. That's uh, hair from his beard turned white. Haino <coughs> Dakama Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria. It was to this that Rabbi Lazar ben Azariah said, Hareani keven shivim shana, I am like a 70-year-old man. Velo ben shivim shana, he didn't say, I am a 70-year-old man. Tana, it was taught in a varaisa, Oto hayom sil kuhu lishomer hapetach, that day they removed the doorkeeper, like the guard to the study hall. Venitna lahem reshut letalmidim likanes, and permission was granted for all students to enter. Shehaya Rabban Gamliel machriz ve'omer, because Rabban Gamliel, who was the who was the nasi, he would uh, proclaim and say, "Call Talmid she'en tocho kavaro." Any student whose inside is not as his outside, that means if they're not sincere, lo yikanes leveta midrash, they may not enter the study hall. Hahu yama itosfu kama safsele. That day, many benches were added um, because of all the students who wanted to come in or who came into the uh, Beit Midrash because of the new policy. Ama Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan said, Plige ba Abba Yosef ben Dostaye, 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 the Rabbanan Abba. Yosef ben Dosta and the rabbis disagree about the matter. Chadama it itosfu arba mea sasile. One says four hundred benches were added. The chadama shvama a sasile. One says seven hundred benches were added. Hava ka chalasha date de rabbanan Gamliel. Rabban Gamliel was dispirited. Amar he said Dilma chas veshalom manati Torah Israel. Perhaps, God forbid, I have withheld Torah from Israel. They showed him in his dream white pitchers filled, uh, pitchers as in like jugs, filled with ash. Uh, this me the Maharsha says, just as the pictures are beautiful white on the outside and and the inside contain worthless ash, so too students who appear worthy may not um, may not truly be so. Velohi, <coughs> but that was not the case. This is not truly a heavenly sign. Hahi liatuve de ate hi de achazule. It was only to put his mind at ease that he was shown this. So, um, the comment here is that uh, Rabban Gamaliel had been motivated by his pure intentions. God didn't want to make him feel bad. Um, however, in truth, his policy was an error. Tana Abraisa taught. Eduyot bo ba yom nishneit. Eduyot was taught on that day. Bechol hechad amrinan bo ba yom and any place wherein on that day is used. Uh, 
so on that day's use, Hahu Yomahava, it is a reference to that day, uh, that, that is the day when Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah was made the Nasi. Velo haita halacha shahaita tluya beveta midrashila perusha, and there was not a single law that had been left unresolved left unresolved in the study hall, which they did not resolve. So there were a lot of matters that were unresolved, and they resolved them all on that day. Even Rabban Gamliel did not withhold himself from the study hall, even for a moment. Dichnan, and we learnt, as we learnt in a Mishnah, <coughs> That day, Yehuda, an Ammonite convert, came before them in the study hall. Amalahem, he said to them, Ma'ani lavo bakahal, what is the law about whether I may enter a congregation and marry a Jewish woman? Amalah, Rabban Gamliel, Rabban Gamliel said to him, Asura ta lavo bakahal, you are forbidden to enter the congregation. Ama lo Rabbi Yoshua, Rabbi Yoshua, Rabbi Yoshua said to him, Mutara ta lavo bakahal, you are permitted to enter the congregation. Ama lo Rabban Gamliel, Rabban Gamliel said to Rabbi Yoshua, Vahalo kvanema, but it is not already stated, Lo yavo amoni o moavi bikal Hashem, an Ammonite and a Moabite shall not enter the congregation of, of Hashem. Amalo Rabbi Yoshua, Rabbi Yoshua responded, Bechi Amon Umoav Bim Koman Hen Yoshvin. But do the but do Amon and Moav or their descendants today do they still reside in their places? Kva Allah Sanchariv Melech Ashur, because Sanchariv King of a King of Ashur long ago came up. Or Vilbel et Kol Haumot and confused all the nations. That means he took the people, he conquered all the nations, and he resettled all the people in different lands and assimilated them. Shnemar, as it's stated, Ba'asir Gvulot Amim Va'atu Dotehem Shoseti. Because Sancharib said, as it said, in Ishayahu 10 verse 13, I have removed the boundaries of peoples and have plundered their treasures. The Orid Kabir Yoshvim, I brought down, I brought down dwellers in strongholds. <coughs> that means you removed the boundaries where they formerly existed. Behold, Afrish, Merubah, Parish, whatever separates, um, uh, is assumed to uh, whatever separates separated from the majority, uh, that is, from the majority of people who are not Amorite, Ammonites. Amalo Rabban Gamliel, Rabban Gamliel said to him, Bahalokvar Nema, but it is already stated, Bahrechen Ashiv et Shvot et Shvot Bene Amon Neum Hashem. This is from Yirmiyahu 49, verse 6. Afterwards, I'll return the captivity of the children of of Ammon, the word of Hashem. So they have already returned. Meaning the prophecy, uh, prophecy must have been fulfilled. Amalo Rabbi Yoshua, Rabbi Yoshua said to him, But it is already stated, et shvut ami Israel, And I'll return the captivity of my people Israel. This is from Amos. Amos uh, 9 verse 14. But Adain lo shavu, and they have, and therefore they have not yet returned. So, just as the prophecy of returning the people of Israel has not yet been fulfilled, so too the prophecy of Ammon has not yet been fulfilled. I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom. So we are at, um, uh, we're about halfway down the middle section on the left, on, of, on the left, from the word Miyad Hitiruhu, which is uh, here on the left hand side, near the top. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Miyad hitiru lavoba kahal. Immediately they permitted him, this is Yehuda, who was the convert, to enter the congregation in accordance with Rabbi Yoshua. Ama Rabban Gamliel said, Rabban Gamliel, ho il vehachi hava, since that is the case, that the law follows Rabbi Yoshua, ezil vehafai afa yese le Rabbi Yoshua, I shall go and appease Rabbi Yoshua. Kimata leveti, when he reached Rabbi Yoshua's house, chazin hu le ashyata devete de mishachran, he saw that the walls of his house were black. Amalo, he said to him, Mikotle betcha atanika she pechami ata. From the walls of your house, it is apparent that you are a smith. That would be um, uh, either a blacksmith or a charcoal maker. Ama lo, so Rabbi Yosha said to him, Oi lo ladu lado shata panaso. Woe unto the the generation whose leader you are, she'iyata yodea betaran shel talmidei chachamim, for you know not the suffering of Torah scholars, bama hem mit parnesim uvama hem nizonim, how they support themselves and how they are nourished. Amalo Rabban Gamliel said to him, Ne lecha. I've spoken excessively to you. Mecholi, forgive me. Lo ash lo ashgach be. Rabbi Yosha paid him no heed. Ase bishvil kavod abba. Do it for the sake. So Rabban Gamliel pleaded with him. Do it for the sake of of the honor of my father. Payes and Rabbi Yosha was appeased. <coughs> Amru, they said, Man nezil velema lehu l'rabbanan. Who'll go inform the rabbis of this new development of our uh, of our satisfaction between them? Amar lehu hahu koves. A certain laundry man said to them, Ana azilna. I will go. Shalach lehu Rabbi Yosha leve midrasha. Rabbi Yosha sent a message to the sages in the study hall. Man de lavish mada yilbash mada. Let him who is accustomed to wear the robe continue wearing the robe. That is, stay the nasi. O man de lo lavish mada yema le la man de lavish mada. Shall he who is not accustomed to wear the robe say to him who is accustomed to wear the robe? Shlach madach ana. El Beshe, remove your robe and I will put it on. <coughs> so the laundry man, uh, he failed in his mission. Ama lehu Rabbi Akiva, le Rabbanan Rabbi Akiva said to the rabbis, Toroku Gale, lock the doors of the study hall. De lo leitu avde de Rabban Gamliel ule tsaaro le Rabbanan, so that the servants of Rabban Gamliel do not come and harass the rabbis. Ama Rabbi Yoshua said Rabbi Yoshua, Mutav de Ekum ve Ezilana le Gabayehu, better that I go to them myself. Ata to Rav Abava, he came and knocked on the door. Ama Lehu, he said to them, Maze ben Maze Yaze, let the sprinkler, let the sprinkler son of a sprinkler, sorry, let the sprinkler, son of a sprinkler, Sprinkle. Vesheino lo maze ve lo ben maze yoma la maze ben maze. Shall he who is neither a sprinkler nor the son of a sprinkler say to the sprinkler, son of a sprinkler, Me mecha me maara, your water is cave water. Ve efrecha efer mikle, and your ashes. Cinders. So the sprinkling was um, performed by her, by Kohen, who is also obviously the son of a Kohen. Um, and this, so what Rabbi Yeshua was saying, it was an intimation that the Nasi, the position of Nasi should be returned to Rabban Gamliel, who was the descendant of previous 
Nessium of previous um, uh, leaders of the Beit Midrash. Ama lo Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva said to him, Rabbi Yoshua nit payesta. Rabbi Yoshua, you are appeased. Klum asinu ela bishvil kvodecha. Did we do this, Rabbi, removing Rabban Gamliel from being a nasi, for any reason other than your honor? Lemachar aniva ata nashkim lepitcho. Tomorrow you and I will arise and go to Rabban Gamliel's door. Amre, they said, Hechi na'avid, how shall we do this? Na'avre, shall we remove Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah completely? Meaning we can't do that. Gemiri ma'alin bakodesh ve'en moridin. We have a tradition that in matters of sanctity, we make people higher and not lower. We elevate and do not lower. Nidrosh marchada shabta o marchada shabta. Shall one master lecture one week and another master another week? Should they alternate? Which might also be unacceptable. Ate le kanuye. This will lead to jealousy. Ela le drosh rabban gamliel talata shabate verabi verabi elazar ben azaria chada shabta. Rather let rabban gamliel lecture three weeks and rabbi elazar ben azaria one week. The haino damamar. This is that which the master said um, in a baraisa. Shabbat shall me haita, whose week was it? Shall Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria haita? It was that of Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria. The conclusion of the Gemara. Be Otto Talmud Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai Hava. And that student who asked the question that made the, that sparked this entire incident was Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai. The Mishnah says, "Veshel Musaf in Kol Hayom." The prayer of Musaf can be said the entire day. Ama Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan said. Benikra Poshea, but he who prays Musaf late in the day is called negligent. Tanu Rabbanan, the rabbis taught not Baraisa, Hayul Lefanov, Shtet Filot, one had two prayers before him to say, Achat Shal Mincha, Achat Shal Musaf, one of Mincha and one of Musaf, Mitzvalel Shal Mincha, Achat Kach Mitzvalel Shal Musaf, he prays out of Mincha first and afterwards does Musaf. Shezo Tedira, Vezo Eina Tedira, for this one, Mincha is frequent, whereas this one, Musaf, is not as frequent. Rabbi Yoda, Mer Rabbi Yoda says, Mitpalel shel Musaf acha kach mitpalel shel Mincha. He prays that of Musaf first, and afterwards, that of Mincha. Shezo mitzvah overed, vezo mitzvah shein overed. For this one, Musaf is a mitzvah, where time elapses early in the day, and whereas Mincha, uh, uh, is a mitzvah whose time does not elapse early. Ama Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan says, Halacha mitpalel shel mincha v'achar kach mitpalel shel musaf. The law is that one prays the prayer of mincha first and afterwards that of musaf. Rabbi Zera ki havachalish migirse. Rabbi Zera, when he was weak from his studies, hava azil vayativ apichta. Devei Rabbi Natan Tovi would go and sit, so when Rabbi Zera was weak from his studies, he would go and sit by the entrance of the academy of, Rab, of Rabbi Natan Bar Tovi. Amar, he said, Ki Chalfi Rabbanam, when the rabbis and students of the academy passed by, Az Eikom Mekamayehu Akabel Agra, then I will arise before them and receive reward. Nafak Ata Rabbi Natan Bar Tovi, Rabbi Natan Bar Tovi came out to him one day. Amale Rabbi Zeri said to him, Man Amar Halacha Me Be Midrasha, who is who in the study hall said that the law accords with Rabbi Yoda. Amale Rabbi Natan Bar Tovi said to him, Hachi Amar Rabbi Yochanan. So said Rabbi Yochanan, 
Ein halacha k'Rabbi Yoda. The halacha does not accord with Rabbi Yoda. The Amar mipalel adam shel Musafa chakach mipalel shel mincha. He says that a person prays the prayer of Musaf and afterwards that of Mincha. Amale Rabbi Zera said to him, Rabbi Yochanan Amra Amara. Rabbi Yochanan said said that. Amale Ain. Yes, replied Rabbi Nesan Baratovi. Tana minei arbaim zimnin. Rabbi Zera reviewed this ruling from him 40 times, so he didn't forget it. Amale, seeing this, Rabbi Nasan Bertovi said to him, Chada Hilach is, uh, is the first you. Is, um, is this statement of Rabbi Yochanan? Uh, is it so beloved because you have, uh, because... Is this the first time you ever heard his name? Or is it new to you that you thought someone else had said it? Amale Rabbi Zera said to him, It is new to me. Because I thought that perhaps Rabbi Yoshua Ben Levi said it. Ama Rabbi Yosho ben Levi. Rabbi Yosho ben Levi said, Kol amipalel tefillah shel musafin la'acha sheva sha'ot le'Rabbi Yehuda. Anyone who prays the Musaf prayer after seven hours, according to Rabbi Yehuda, alav hakatuv omer, concerning him, the verse says, Nuge mi mo'ed asafti mi mech hayu broken, nuge, because of the appointed time, I have destroyed, they are from you. That's from Zephania 3 verse 18. Meaning, because they have delayed the appointed times of the present holidays, I have broken and destroyed them. That's what Rashi says. What indicates that the word nuge is a term of breaking? Kedim ke metagem rav yosef. As Ross, Rav Yosef translated, Tavra ate al Sanehon to Veit Israel, breakage comes upon the enemies of the house of Israel, al da acharu zimne moadaya de Yerushalayim, because they delayed the appointed seasons in Yerushalayim. Breakage comes upon the enemies of the house of Israel because they delayed the appointed seasons in Yerushalayim. Amar Rabbi Elazar, Rabbi Elazar said, "Kol hamit palel tefila shel shacharit la har arba shaot le Rabbi Yoda." Anyone who prays the shacharit prayer after four hours, according to Rabbi Yoda, Allah hakatuv omer concerning him. The verse says, "Nuge mi moed asafte mi mechayu afflicted because of the appointed time I have destroyed. They are from you. My mish mashma dahai nuge." Lishna tetsarahu. What indicates that this, the word nuge, is a term of affliction? Dichti for it's written, dalfa nafshe mituga. My soul melts from affliction. Tuga. This in Tehillim 119 verse 28. So tuga and nuge are related. Dichti for it is written, dalfa nafshe mituga. My soul melts from affliction. Tuga. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak Amar Mehacha. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak said, uh, "From here, Betuloteha Nugot Vehi Marla. Her maidens are afflicted, Nugot, and she herself is embittered." And this is from uh, Lamentations one verse four. When referring to one who delays the morning prayer, Rabbi Lazar ben, uh, ben Rabbi Lazar had explained the word nuge is afflicted. Rabbi Yosho ben Levi, however, when referring to one who delays Musaf, explains nuge is bearing the stronger, broken. The reason for the difference is that delaying Musaf is a greater sin than delaying Shacharit. Shacharit can be made up if need be by reciting a compensatory Shmon Esrei at Mincha. Uh, Musaf, however, has no provision for a make-up Shmon Esrei.